make you really, really happy. Because it's written all for you. What's up guys, it's your boy Kurnati. We are back with Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, the last episode, I was talking about how it begins, and it gets, and I also got the notification, um, you know, the very beginning, it tells, it says, oh, this game will have disturbing content. Um, I don't see where the disturbing content is, and I'm kind of confused. But I'm guessing it's going to be one of the games where it's going to, like, really want to get you in it before things go wrong, and therefore it's going to get you more intrigued, I guess. But, yeah. I also stated how, you know, this is one of the games, I guess, you have to date one of these girls, and you get a happy ending with one of the girls. So, I decided that I was going to take the route and try to date all three, meaning that I saved the file for these three different girls. You can't date her. This is Monica. You're not able to date her. She's the, the leader, the president. But, so Yuri... Yuri and Natsuki, yeah, these three girls can date, and I, as you can see, I separated in different files. This file is for my relationship with Sayuri. This one is for Natsuki, and this one is for Yuri. So, uh, yeah, I think we can um continue. And also, what I'm gonna do is this, cause I was thinking I was gonna do like a long playthrough of just Sayuri, but for those who kind of want to see like how it goes with Yuri and stuff. So the day, the game is kind of separated in different days. So the first day, you know, I'm on here, I'm going to do it with Sayuri. And then in the next video, I'm going to do the first day with, which one is this? Natsuki. This is Natsuki. I have to remember. This is Natsuki and this is Yuri. So then I'm just going to keep going like one, two, so video one, video two, video three, video four, video five, well, technically last video. So two three four five six seven and it's going to just keep going all right so let's get on with continuing with sayori's video let's go okay what was her voice again it was um hi again kurt okay glad to see you didn't run up run, run away on us <laughs> nah don't worry this might be a little strange for me but i at least keep my word ah well i'm back in the literature club I was the last one to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Kurt. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive head first into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. So you already told me you didn't want to join the any club this year. Or last year, too. I don't know if you're planning to just come and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, you will see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in a club room. Natsuki, you just got burned. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki pops back into her seat. Because you got burned. Don't worry, guys. Kurt always gives it his best as long as she's having fun. You dang right I do. He helped me a busy work without even asking me. Like clean cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. <laughs> yeah, that's not like a super that's what you say when after how dependable of that man. <laughs> so Yuri, that's because your room is very it's so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set the house on fire once. <laughs> is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Huh? Why? Wait. Is this for her now? Because I, I assumed I was making her happy. I think I might have accidentally made one for her. How come? You and Kirk can become good friends too. Uh, um. Sayori. Hmm? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the worst situation she just put me into. Oh. Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sayori. Uh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Um, what do I do? <sighs> I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. 
I guess it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me think, it'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right, well here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I put out a book I thought you might like to, you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want it. Th this is, how is this girl accidentally being so cute? She is, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. I like people who are shy. It makes me want to really want to be their friend. Not only because of shy, because like I know that they really do want a friend, and I'm always happy to be a friend. Like you really want, like people who are really out there, or people who are shy. Like it's like you know they want to be your friend, but it's really hard. And me, I love making friends. I really do. She even picked out a book she think I like, despite me not having not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. I really like this character. I like Yuri's character. Well, you can read at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. So Yuri and Monica have a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she's been waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Alright. Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down to the nearest desk. How, how am I supposed to occupy myself with nothing luxury related by myself like this? Yeah, like you brought me here. Talk to me, someone, please. I guess I could always read some of the book that you gave me. But I'm feeling too tired to read. <laughs> the story of my life. <laughs> I could probably fall asleep right now. I closed my eyes and listened up into Sayuri's Listen up on Sayuri's conversation with Monica. We're gonna, we're probably gonna seem really lame compared to the other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know. It's just, we just need to, we just need a way of showing everyone that. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Huh? What do you mean? Even if you come up with the most fun thing ever, no one will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? Then after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? So Yuri is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberate like this. It's kind of cool, actually, if you think about it. I, I think it's kind of cool to hear her like really put some input into the club. Because like he said before, we didn't really expect for her to actually be into it, but she really is. Huh, that's a good point. In, th in that case, do you think food will do the trick? Pizza. Let's bring the pizza. Well, what kind? Well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! Man, what's up with y'all and cupcakes, man? Look, if we're gonna get if we're gonna get everyone turned up, you need to have pizza in here, man. Ha, <laughs> good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Yeah, oh you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it? Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayuri is still her usual self. But in there lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayuri can put her mind to do something to make them come to life. I suppose th that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. 
oh god <laughs> and uh, we're staring into her eyes <laughs> wow i open my eyes and find natsuki's face filling my vision why is she so close to us oh it's because we were sleeping i nearly fall out of my chair <laughs> sorry wait actually i'm not sorry at all it's your fault for sleeping like that this isn't the napping club does the school have a napping club great response i love that i would actually i would actually love a napping club oh my goodness that'd be perfect you're staying up late again aren't you now that you're in a club you're going to spend less time for you're going to have less time for anime you know okay listen let me get, let me get this straight i am not obsessed with anime <laughs> i'm tired of this game trying to portray me as that <laughs> you'll need to get used to it don't say that out loud. I glance with my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah, I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Huh? N not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? It's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. <laughs> Look, it's written all over you. Huh? So Yuri glances at herself. Is she like literally looking for it written for um it written all over her to make a joke? How is it written all over me? I think it was. Okay. You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking all around here. Was the hair always like that? Pretty sure it was. Ah. Uh, I rub my fingertips down the side of Sayuri's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just the hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. Wasn't her bow always like that? I'm so confused. Could have sworn that her bow was always like that. Okay. And there is a toothpaste stain on the on your collar right there. Okay, yeah. There we go. Okay. That's what you can tell she's in a rush. I'm say her hair and her bow didn't change at all. I try to wipe off the stain with my fingers. But no one would ever notice that. Of course they would. No one's going to tell you. Nobody's going to tell you because tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I don't care about that. Hey, you meanie. And you don't keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayuri. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Oh, God. The the harshness. Huh? That's super mean. Very. Like, Curtis, what are you doing? Like, if we're going to be mean to her, we're not going to have the chance to date her. Like, we're trying to date her, darn it. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button up her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Oh. So I'm guessing we're a tall guy. Okay. <laughs> this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird, how weird it is to have friends who does these kind of things. Huh? Don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. Yo, stop calling her names. What the hurt you, Curtis? Calm all that down. It's okay though. I'm happy we're like this, aren't you? Um, I, I guess. Hey, be careful. That button might come off. Why this one hard? Why is this so hard? Oh, why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Oh boy. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. <sighs> if you ever buttoned it, oh, if you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you no more. What are you smiling about? It means my boots got bigger again. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, man. So Yuri's on this type of thing. Oh, boy. D don't say that out loud. <laughs> so you're trying to embarrass me now? Like, okay. That is something that you could definitely get embarrassed by saying. Because it's going to make you feel really uncomfortable if you make it feel that type of way. You look so much better now, so. Ugh. <sighs> Why does it feel so strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? 
But it's so stuffy. Mm, it's not worth it at all. So Yuri has to lead on button her blazer once more. Phew. That's so much better. Siri puts her arms out and twirl around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying like it's a good thing? Because if I'm a boyfriend, then he wouldn't let he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you take care of me better than anyone else would. Uh wait, what did I just do? Return. Okay. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Let me keep my mouse over here somewhere. Huh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine. Fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Suyuri. Aw, but I was joking this time. I Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Huh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! Girl, I can't wait to read yours. Oh, I bet you can, Suyuri. Oh, I bet you can, because I wrote this poem all for you. Mm-hmm. This is gonna make you really, really happy. Cause it's written all for you. <laughs> okay, let me not do that again. Same here. I feel to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to receive her poem. By the way, did you remember to, sh to write a poem last night? Y yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well now, th well now that everyone's ready, why don't we find? Why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. So Yuri and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. So Yuri's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. Blech. That's nasty loose leaf paper. Yuck. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> I can really see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I share my poem to first? Um. Okay, I think I'll share mine with. Monica first, since she's the leader. I should start with Monica. Yesterday, she seemed eager to read my poem, and I want her to know I'm putting in effort. Yeah, that's kind of the main reason why I'm putting it. Let me get a bottle of water real quick. And I got two. <laughs> Actually, I had a bottle of water sitting right next to me, but it was like a stand up away. All right. Here we go. Hi, Kurt. Having a good time so far? Y yeah. I don't know if the music's being too loud. I don't know. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring up new things, okay? All right. I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring up new things. I'm much better off at just going with the flow than until I'm more settled in. I feel it. I'm kind of the same. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Kurt. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But is that sort of barrier that'll... Oh, that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I had Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayuri would like. Let me get me drink. Let me drink to that. Cause that makes me happy. Cause that's what I'm writing it for. Is that so? Don't, don't act like you didn't. You didn't, you didn't write this for her. You and Yuri are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sort of things in common. Ah uh, well, we may be good friends, but Yuri and I are actually really different. 
Hmm. Well, that may be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks to you, it sounds like you two are... It sounds like the two of you really care, or care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you'd think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading it into not reading into it too much? Huh, I could be. Oh gosh, it's not like Yuri. In any case, so Yuri's writing is kinda gentle kinda oh has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can't tell I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy writing enjoy sad things too? Yeah, I could tell when I was writing a poem, you know, some of the sad words was also like getting her interest. Even though I thought it was going to only apply for um Yuri, which is the one with the purple hair. Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I'm sure I'll end up trying something different things. It could be a while before I feel comfortable doing this, though. That's okay. I love to see you trying new things. That's the best way to find the style that suits you. Everyone else might be, might be a little biased towards their own styles. But I'll always help you find what best suits you. Don't force yourself to write the way everyone wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <coughs> <laughs> that's that's the laugh we do when that's exactly what we're doing. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound very confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. Let me, let me take a sip to this. Alright. That's one bottle of water gone. Let me see. Kobe! Aw, I missed it. Okay. Hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction that Spackles pursues? The annoying neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel. Blind. Like a film left inside, left out in the sun. But it's too late. My... Retennas? Oh, or antennas? I don't know. My retennas. Already scorched with the permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. The whole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. I'm lost. I don't know that I don't know what that meant. <laughs> so what do you think? Hmm. It's very free form if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Hmm. <sighs> that's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems that have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can really it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration between this one? Huh. Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say it was a kind of epiphany recently. Uh, that that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Oh, we got a writing tip. Okay. Sometimes when writing, when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try hard to make it perfect you'll never make it you'll never make any progress just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later another way of thinking about it is if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long you'll get a big dark puddle of ink so just keep your hand moving and go with the flow that's my advice for today thanks for listening all right uh, next is, well, since we know that we did a good job for, um, attracting Sayuri, because Monica kind of said it, you know, so, we'll share it with Sayuri. 
All right. Oh, look at her face. I actually like it. That's the face of progress. Oh my goodness. This is so good, Kurt. Huh? I love it. I know, dear, you are such a good writer. Sayuri, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe even Nasuki's. Are you sure you, you don't like it just because I wrote it? Hmm? Well, I'm sure it's part of it. I think I understand you a saying you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Kurt poem. That's cute. <laughs> a Kurt poem. And that makes it feel extra special. Like, I can feel your feelings in it. So Yuri hugs the sheet, of, hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayuri. <laughs> I'm really happy you're just, you just wrote one. It just reminds me how you're really part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. <laughs> you should have said that out loud. <laughs> it would have been a lot more funnier. <clears throat> yeah, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Kurt. Deep down inside, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people, that's something only that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayuri sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's a part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much it means to her and all. Yeah, and I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That'll be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now we read my poem, now you read my poem, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. <clears throat> All right, dear Sunshine, let me get a drink of water before I read this. All right. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. That reminds me of a poem I wrote where I use the words, the rain punishes me by punching my forehead. I wrote a poem like that before, but it was when I made my girlfriend upset and I had to write a poem to make her happy again. Whatever. Making me rub the sleep out of my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> what? <laughs> what a random line to throw in there. I want breakfast. <laughs> All right. So Yuri, this is just a guess, but did you wait until morning to write this? No, J just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel better, a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to make it. I didn't mean to say it say that it was a bad poem it came out nicer how should i put it it sounds just like you really yeah especially that last line <laughs> yeah that last line really did i made eggs and toast even though you were late to school it's bad to skip breakfast i get all cranky see i actually skip breakfast a lot but it's cool because when 12 o'clock hits i eat good <laughs> Well, there's no point in, there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for sharing with me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget, and I'm going to make the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. All right, so that was Sayuri. Um, Nasuki and Yuri. Since Yuri seems more respectful, because Nasuki kind of gave a bad vibe, like she'll just talk down. So let's go to Yuri. All right, she's looking. Hmm. 
Yuri stares at my poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um, oh, s sorry, I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not, I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay, this is your first time reading, right? Or writing, right? Er, uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I just guess that it might be after reading reading through it. Aw, so is it bad? No! Did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face with in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's, that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gone anywhere. It might be... It might take Yuri a, t a while to get used to new people. If yeah, seriously. <laughs> it's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical... That are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick pick up on them. You won't be saying that when I when you read the poem that I wrote for you, though. <laughs> I think the most the most notable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Yuri, once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if she, her whole dem demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are many different skills and techniques that go into writing, even the simplest poem. Not only finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and- Oh dang, I didn't read the rest. I also hope that everyone else gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased though. Biased how? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about other people like that. Or talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or Natsuki. Do you mind? Oh, do you mind if I read your poem next? Please do. I love to share my thought progress behind it. Or process. I keep saying progress. Yuri smiles dreamily as if this is a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Oh no, cursive. My weakness. I need to. I need to really sip this water. Hold on. Ugh. Oh man. Let's just try to read this. All right. Ghost under the light. The tensions of my hair illuminates beneath the ember glow, bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. I actually read that pretty well. Uh, I'm sorry. I have such terrible handwriting. Wow, she actually brought up the handwriting. It wasn't bad, though. It was really good. It was just hard for me it's hard for me to read cursive sometimes that's the best way of me putting it what i wasn't thinking that at all but it took you a long time to read i actually read that pretty well uh well i don't really script very often i actually think your hair wearing is pretty huh that's a relief also i like the poem even though it's short it was very descriptive it wasn't too short i usually write longer poems not at all I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest, since it's your first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you with the ghost, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Kurt. Really? I must have totally missed the point. 
Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. Okay, hold on. I actually read the thing, okay? And I read it very good. But remember that poets often express their own feelings, thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than just tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being sim symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her past, in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I haven't even thought of that. It's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that you it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll keep I have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Alright. That was actually pretty good. Um Oh boy, Natsuki. I feel like she's gonna just crush my dreams. Alright, here we go. I'm waiting. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. Yep, here we go. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't revoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? All right, look, Natsuki, look, I'll try to be nice to you, but we can take this outside of the classroom, all right? I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Don't give me that face. You will get smacked. All right. I'll pass. <sighs> Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. You hardly told me anything. Hold on. Like, the girl actually gave me some feedback or something. Not like you'll like it. All right. Eagles can fly. I'm not even going to sip the water for you. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try, but that's about it. All right. Yeah. I told you you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be so sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do such great things can be really disheartening. So, I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about writing poems is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like how I set up to rhyme at the end, but it makes... But then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to hum I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Alright, so I was able to share with everyone. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're being just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is the literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I end up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayuri and Monica are happily chatting. They're always chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Atsuki. They gingerly, yeah, gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in timid, I watch their expressions change. Natsuki's Natsuki's eyebrows fear, wait, fear and frustration. Meanwhile. Yuri smiles sadly. What is this language? Huh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismiss dismissively returns to the to poem to the desk with one hand. 
I guess you could say it's fancy. Huh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can I be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Huh? You mean you have to try to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. So Yuri liked it, and Kurt did too. So based on that, I, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I do want to spread the shares that anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Mm. And Kurt liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he he was impressed by it. Now Suki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't feel like you were so invested in trying to impress the new member, Yuri. Huh? Oh, he's got, he's got real. <laughs> That's not what I... Uh, y you're just Yuri stands up as well maybe you're just jealous that Kurt appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours huh and how'd you know he didn't appreciate my advice more are you that full of yourself uh, I no if I was full of myself I would deliberately go out my way and making everything I do overly cutesy you um is everyone okay well you know what I wasn't the one whose boobs magically got bigger as soon as Kurt started showing <laughs> Why did you s Oh, wow. N Nazuki. Um, Nazuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. I don't like you guys fighting. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Kurt, she's just trying to... She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could... If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this would have never happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poem overly convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out to the writer, to the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. How me explain it to her, Kurt? W wait. There's a reason we have so many deep expressive words in our language it's the only way to convey complex feelings and emotions to effect to them effectively avoiding them is not only unnecessary limiting yourself but also a waste you understand now right kurt um well uh oh how did i get myself dragged into this in the first place it's not like i know anything about writing but who i agree with they'll most likely they'll think higher of me Okay, so of course that'll be okay. So I'm guessing this means like if I was to date, if I was trying to oppress a Yuri, I would have picked her. If I was with Nasuki, I would have picked her. If I was trying to like interest them, but in this case, you know, help me so Yuri would be the best thing because that's what I'm trying to get in this timeline that I'm doing now. So, so Yuri is who I'm picking. N Nasuki, Nasuki glares at me. Dying or drying up any words out of my mouth. So instead of turning to Yuri, Yuri? But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't even bring myself to say anything to her. Say Yuri! <laughs> huh? Y yeah! Everyone fighting, everyone's fighting is making Sir Yuri uncomfortable. How can you two keep fighting when you're making your, when you're making your friend feel like this? Kurt. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I agree. It's unfair for others to inject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Yuri wants to tell Yuri what a stuck up jerk she's being. She would never. Is your... <laughs> this is hilarious to me. Is your immaturity that made her upset in the first place? Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why... <laughs> exactly why no one likes... <laughs> Stop! Huh? Nazuki, Yuri, 
You guys are my friends. I just want everyone... I just want everyone to get along and be happy. Hey. Is she crying? Aw. My friends are wonderful people, and I love them because of their differences. Asuki's poems, they're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And your poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in my head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? Be because. Well, also, Nasuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, tell her. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they, <laughs> as they always were. Is this just the talk that we are comfortable having around dudes? Because when I was in high school, this is not something that girls would bring up. They would not bring up their boobs. Unless they're talking about those going to use their boobs to impress someone. Yeah, like, okay, look. Basically, the way I want to say it, no old girl in... At the school I went to would bring up boobs unless they were ratchet. I'm sorry, but we had ratchet girls. Big and beautiful. <laughs> Sayori, calm that down. <laughs> Sayori, Sayori stands up triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Nasuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So this is why Sayori is vice president. I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader, but I can recognize things. But I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. <laughs> nah, it's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say nothing either. Well, I guess... That just means Sayuri is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes she weirdly suspicious. It was weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly, causing my stomach to knot. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get a chance to talk to her a little more. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did everyone feel about sharing their poems? It was a lot of fun. Uh, I say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. How about you, Kurt? Well, yeah. I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk, talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you'll learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. Okay. I think to myself, I did learn more about the kind of poems that everyone likes. Yeah, so that should give me a little more better at writing the poems for each girl. With any look, that means I can at least impress, at least do a better job impressing those who I want to impress. Which is all of them. <laughs> I nod to myself with newfound determination. Kurt! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> so Yuri beams at me. It truly, it truly has been a while since Yuri and I spent this much time together. I really can't say I'm not enjoying it either. So Yuri, about what happened earlier. Huh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Nasuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've ever seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just want one of your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Kurt, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. It looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to my kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Well, just, we'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it was easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah, let's do this.
Okay, so this is the second poem for Sayuri. Alright. Um Raindrop. Darn it. <laughs> um Laugh. Okay, here we go. Laugh. Anger? Darn it. Um I can't do this! Cause she Climax. Now I feel like that's gonna uh Promise? Okay. Uh Parfait? Okay, not. Don't impress Nasuki. This is not her path. Peaceful. Okay. Uh. Uh. Whisper. Darn it. No. No, come on. Clumsy. Um. Sunny. Okay, that's good. Journey? No. I think the way it works is if most of the words uh, rely on her, it will work. Extreme. No, stop it. Together. Okay, um, um, sadness. I already know that she likes that word. Um, sunset? Alright. Forgive. Um, no, not anime. Um, uh, Valentine, darn it. Uh, breathe. <clears throat> Family. Um, amazing and special. Okay. Another day passes. Okay, so this is the end of. So this is now day three for Sayuri. So the next video, I'm going to do day two for Nasuki and then day two for Yuri. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you please give this video a thumbs up. I'm still waiting for things to get creepy. Or not creepy, but um, dis disturbing. I guess I want to say, like when things change. I'm still waiting, but I, yeah, I'll see you guys when the next video drops. So yeah, peace.